this here. This is one of the companies and moments that Darren and I are the most proud of. We were just honored really to be accepted into the Koenigsegg family. And about seven, no, eight weeks ago, we announced Koenigsegg London, which is the official Koenigsegg dealership in the heart of London in Kensington. So today is pretty flat out. This is a, 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 a perfect example of the kind of day which I'd love to share with you, but historically I haven't. But we're gonna roll it because we've committed to the Uncut channel. There's quite a lot of pressure involved in today. We're launching a new company. Uh, I'm meeting several new Koenigsegg clients and I have to interview uh, three guests on the Chubb stage before heading to Windsor Castle uh, for a ball hosted by none other than Prince Michael of Kent. So <laughs> when you say it out loud, it's pretty ridiculous. But all in all, um, the sort of uh, time constraints and pressure to activate all of those things really well uh, is normally, now I'm saying it out loud, the reason why we don't film it because we have to be really on, on point. The thing with these events, you never really know what to take. What I do know that I've got to be remotely smart for being on stage. Because <laughs> this is a good place to start, actually. I was just, I was just thinking, well, how, how do I introduce this? So, so this is the driven enclosure, something we've been working on for over two years, and I've not spoken about on the main channel yet. And to be honest, it, it might actually be a little bit early now, but, but we are here. So I'm going to give you an informal walk and talk. But effectively, within the driven group, we have all of these brands, OK? So we've got Koenigsegg London, Eva Luto, a lot more to come on that very soon. JE Motorworks, which is the Resto Mod Defenders. Borum, lots more on that to come soon. ITG Air Filters. We have Penzo, um, which is it's, it's an incredible engineering design simulation company that sits behind the automotive world. Uh, this brand created the carbon tub and fundamental structure of the Jaguar CX-75. They designed and built the Jaguar Project 7, Project 8. Uh, they've done carbon work for Ferrari on the SF90. They did all of the, the aero and carbon work for Mercedes on the AMG Black Series. So this company will come alive off quite, of, quite a few of the projects to do with this brand and this brand in the coming months, okay? That's all I can say right now. Evolution E-Types, these are the guys that built my Jaguar Low Drag E-Type. They're so good. We ended up getting a little bit more involved in them and they are now part of the Driven Group. Bunker Group is more of a digital agency group. So within here we do filming like we're doing now, but we also conduct filming for, for brands, but we also have web developers, software engineers. Uh, we do everything from traditional print to full-blown ad campaigns and anything that needs filming, photographing or presenting. It comes out of Bunker Group and then Logic joined the group about 12 months ago and we'll show you the freshly painted with removable Logic Paint uh, 991 GT3 very soon. So we've sort of taken the opportunity during Hampton Court um, Concours to have our first physical presence here during the Concours as driven group. So we got some special cars. Most of them are within group. Um, and the idea is that we're able to represent while giving all of our partners, prospects, VIPs, uh, a very nice hospitality experience too. And we're also really fortunate that when the event actually closes, it's when the party starts here. So everyone ends up ultimately closing out each day of the three day event under that tent, um, celebrating with our champagne partner. If you've been familiar with the channel and you've seen Thor, our 110 on steroids, this is from exactly the same brand. So this is the uh, JE Motorworks Heritage 90. You can configure and bespoke a classic Defender in literally anything you can dream of. So this thing's got Apple CarPlay and sort of half Safari, half Heritage. I mean, there's sort of teak decking in the back, which looks more akin to a super yacht. Um, but then you've got these sort of Safari style seats. Um, and this really is a collaboration with the client. And the further they go down the journey with JE and, and the more that they realize that they can literally have what they want, things like this unfold, where they're like, oh, do you know what? I've got a yacht in the south of France and it wouldn't be great if we could paint it the same color as the yacht. And actually, the supplier for the teak could be the same supplier for the back of the JE. 
and it just sort of starts to spiral from there. Um, and then what also happens, um, because we now have evolution in group and they have some fantastic material suppliers, we end up sort of cross pollinating suppliers and we end up having things like we've bought, bought, sorry, built Thor 3 now. So off the back of our first Thor, we had a client come in and say, could you build me a Thor? And we built him one more. And then a third client came along, along and said, well, I would also like a Thor. However, I would like four Recaro bucket seats in mine. So it, there's no traditional bench seat in the back of Thor 3. It's got Recaro's all round trimmed in beautiful leather and Alcantara. And it's just, just the coolest experience. So yeah, if you can think it, we can build it. We've also just had this back in time. So if you were following the channel over the last 12 months, it's basically a year to the week that we introduced the low drag on the channel. This is built by a company in group called Evolution E-Types. I originally took delivery of the car when it was on carburetors. And the reason I did that was I've never owned or experienced any, any decent amount of time uh, in a classic car with carbs. So I thought, eh, it'd be good to get that experience. So at least I know what I'm talking about. Turns out there's fuel injection for a reason. It's, uh, carbs are fine for a sunny Sunday drive. We dropped this thing right in the deep end and decided to uh, enter it into Gumball 3000 Middle East and drove it through the middle of the Omani Desert on carbs which were atmospherically calibrated for the UK. Anyway, turns out that's quite important. Um, and it, and it, it wasn't the most optimized experience. So when we brought it back, by the way, from winning car of the rally uh, 2022, um, we decided to upgrade it to fuel injection. Now you might be looking in this engine bay and going, but there is no fuel injection there. However, Evolution have housed and disguised the injection within the bodies of what look to be conventional carbs. So you've got that sort of traditional aesthetic, upgraded fuel rail, it's all very, very cool. However, under here is a Motec ECU and we can plug in the difference in driving experience. I know this is probably quite obvious. Um, the throttle response, the just the power delivery, much less loss of power. Um, it sounds cooler, it idles smoother. It's just an all-round improved experience. Yeah. Send me some photos of, the, of those F1 cars going around. Will do. Yeah, wicked. Thanks, pal. Gary's actually going to the Ferrari Mundiali event, which is like a Corsa Cliente uh, Ferrari owner's driving experience at Silverstone. And they brought down a load of the uh, F1 Cliente, which is Italian posh name for private owners of Formula One cars, who, who go and uh, basically take out ex Schumacher cars and run them around Silverstone as a track day. It's like, it's absolutely what? insane. It's absolutely insane. This here, this is one of the companies and moments that Darren and I are the most proud of. We were just honored really to be accepted into the Koenigsegg family. And about seven, no, eight weeks ago, we announced Koenigsegg London, which is the official Koenigsegg dealership in the heart of London in Kensington. There's going to be more on that coming soon as we take you through the development of the showroom. This was a photo shoot that uh, Yorkie and I and the rest of the production bunker team did at two in the morning. Um, and it was actually, the reason it looks so incredibly patriotic and regal was it was a couple of days ahead of the King's coronation. And we rocked up on the mall while they were doing a rehearsal. And after the horses had trotted off, we just sort of crept on with this Koenigsegg. Andrew on our team took that photo, which is ridiculously good. And that was our sort of launch photo to announce Koenigsegg London. So since then, the reception has been incredible. Uh, we've almost sold out of our allocation of cars, uh, despite not actually opening our showroom yet. Um, and I think if we can continue with that trajectory, everyone's happy. We're now waiting on our, well, I'll hold that for a different time. <laughs> How big is our stand? It's big. It is big, yeah. It's by far and away the biggest stand of the show, which is cool. But you know, under here we've got how many companies have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brands within the enclosure here. And Penzo's a hard one to represent because a lot of what they do is simulating the carbon fiber tub crash structure of a new supercar. So really one of the 
representations of what Penzo do is a component within that Valkyrie over there that you can't see. But, but it's a tip of the hat to the sort of uh, degree of engineering work uh, that Penzo is associated with. And we have an, another drop dead gorgeous uh, Evolution Roadster here as well, which is absolutely stunning. So yeah, that's why we have this stand. We've been here for three days now. And uh, it's just been really cool to have a physical presence and bring down every, everyone from friends and family to old friends, new friends, clients, prospects, VIPs, and all in all, introduce them to a good old end of summer automotive garden party. Yeah. Hey, we've, look at these. I've just, I've just spotted some. This is cool. You know, it, it always like it genuinely like warms my heart when I see people wearing them out and about because when you see these 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 glasses getting ordered online, it's cool, but it's kind of faceless, right? And then when you see them out in the wild, it's it yeah, blows my mind. It's like, ah, oh, dude, there's someone wearing the glasses. It's so good. Oh, it's good. I love them. Thank you. Good. So how have you found them so far? Have they been okay? Superb. Yeah. Any feedback? Uh, I mean, the sideshow driving. Yeah. Sounds sounds silly to say. No, no, but, it's all right. Yeah. But that's where they come alive. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Glad. I'm I'm, I'm glad because I mean, it's about took us a while. Sunshine yeah. today. You've got to have some decent sunshine. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Right? That's really so, cool. Sorry, yeah. I didn't get you, your name. Tyler. Tyler, pleasure. Have Thanks you been so down much. here all three days? Or you uh, just, just today for this? Uh, and came uh, for a day last year as well. And thanks for yeah, saying amazing. hi, mate. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you for wearing those, mate. It's a bit terrific. It's Love them. Really great seeing them out and about. So thanks thank you a lot. so much. Take care, mate. Okay. See you around. Yeah. That gentleman's got a fine set of sunglasses on. Look at that man there. Most excellent. <laughs> Most excellent <laughs> eyewear attire. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Yeah. There's garages and then there's garages, yes. right? Yes. When I think of a, a nice garage, I'll be honest with you, I don't think of it that nice. So you're in collaboration with Equus, yes, who are building right. our garage that's and right. yeah. future projects which we haven't spoken about yet. But how did, how did you get into designing garages? I mean, because it's oh. quite a niche, but at the same time, as you yeah. mentioned, it's massive. It is, it's huge. Yeah. Um, so years ago, I was working in my own workshop working on my own cars and thinking that I'd like to move out of regular design um, right. and I was having this, this sort of conundrum whilst I was installing the hoist in my own garage and <laughs> think, still confused and then making some cupboards for my own garage and still confused and then the penny dropped and I thought that's it, I have to, this is what I can do and so I just started the first one, had a great client for the first project, it went crazy, we got lots of media coverage interviews and, t and magazine articles and it just exploded from there. You've got to have the most fun doing that. It's basically just hanging out with petrol heads going, it's the what would your dream garage be? It's the best hobby in the world. It really so is. Cool. It's <laughs> so good. I'm here. Yeah. I'm talking to you. This is great. Brilliant. How mad is this? So we've just got off, off stage with Ben here. So Ben is the CEO of the little car company or now the not so little car company. Not so little car company. And this is your latest Bentley. This is it. This is the Bentley blower. So we'll go, let's go around the side yeah. and show you some of the bits. This is so crazy. Mate. So 85% scale. Right. Batteries all underneath. Keep the centre gravity nice and low. <laughs> Carbon fibre rear top. Seriously. All underneath. Wow. Uh, okay. Aluminium bonnet is original, but it's empty under there. So we're going to put some sort of storage boxes. We have a no fake rule. So the supercharger has become the charger. Brilliant. So you take the cap off. This is a prototype one. You take the cap off and you put in your Type 2 charger at the front. You've got That's so good. We the brakes on Bentley's they're always kind of notoriously average, so we've upgraded. We've got Brembo disc brakes on the front. Oh, I thought you were going to say so we put some distinctly average brakes on no, it. No, no. <laughs> Safety wise, we'll go okay. Brembo's brakes. Adjustable dampers um, at the front and rear. Moving backwards, chromed uh, radiator as you would in the original. Yes. Leather the leather straps I love. This is the the largest you can have the aero screen without needing a windscreen wipers. Serious? Yeah, the rigs. That's got to be part of a very old regulation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of insane. Right. Okay. Um, Handbrakes here, hand painted really? flag. These are the 99 launch editions. Okay. So we're making 99 like this, which match the original team blower. Right. Um, so cool. And then we repurposed everything. So we got re recreated the original Bakelite switches, the indicators, and there's the headlights. You've got the gauges as the original, but they're all CAN bus, they're all digital underneath. Okay. Um, it's like range meters and power meters. Yes. This this used to be on the front of the steering wheel. So it's the yeah, that's right. It did, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We repurposed wow. it to make it forward, neutral, reverse switch. How much fun do you have making these cars? Oh, all the fun. It's like, like the, it's the, fun. the dream. He's building his own cars and coming up with gizmos and gadgets to make them cooler. How great is that? There's a USB port under here. 
can you put, this might be sacrilege, but in some of the other models, can you put speakers? Oh yeah, this is going to have a Bluetooth speaker inside it. Yes, it so is. You can drive along. <laughs> Seat slides forwards and backwards. We've got this oak floor. We've, we've actually had a certain uh, Mr. Gandhi has been, okay. David Gandhi's been helping us with the design. Brilliant. Yeah. So he chose That's the floor perfect. on How this cool one. How cool is that? Two seats. It's awesome. It's quite tight in the back, but um, yes. But as a as a pub car, it's pretty oh, much ten out of ten. Perfect. You're not going to go too far in it. You can't go on the motorway, but you can go anywhere else. Oh, in the back here. So we the no fake rule. We had to do something with the fuel uh, tank. We're like, you know, what do we do? So you twi it's locked up at the moment. You twist the fuel cap. That pops open. It's where you put your shopping. Of course it is. Or your picnic basket or whatever you quite fancy. Pop down to the farm shop, as it were. Yeah. Do you want to try it for size? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately feel like Toad of Toad Hall. Oh, the yeah. best thing ever. Central driving position like a, like a McLaren F1. <laughs> Dude, this is the coolest. And it, I, I would imagine with it being electric, it's just effortless. Yeah. Drive it away, blows a torque. Yeah, you don't miss the noise either. You, you just cru cruise through the countryside and it's just it's silent, you hear the birds. It's, it's lovely. And how many of these are you building? Going to make uh, 499, we think. Wow. 99 launch editions and then That's the other ones. And you'll be able to order them through a Bentley dealership as well? Yep. Yeah, you can go coolest. to a Bentley dealer. How cool is that? How are you? Aaron? Good to meet you. How are you? Good. Have you, you guys had a nice yet? day? I don't think so. Do you want to come over and have a look at some of his work? Come on, let's. He, he, let's go he, see he it. Drew your logo. Yeah. Come on, let's go and see. I'd love to see yeah. it. That's it's not yours, is it? That's not mine. I wish That's it was. One of his watercolors. Are you serious? That's unbelievable, buddy. That's one of his watercolors. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Buddy, you wouldn't want to see my handwriting, never mind my drawing skills. That That is unbelievable. Nine years old. Crikey. Where can we find your work? Are you sharing it on Instagram? Yeah, we don't like this. We'd love to share it. Yeah, no, guys, thank, thank you so much. Aaron Dutt Artist. You guys, go over there. You wouldn't believe what this <laughs> Aaron made. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> when I see this, I mean, it, if I saw that coming out of a 30-year-old, it'd be amazing, but out of a nine-year-old, is insane. But we will have it on our wall. Thank you so much. That is very kind. Thank you so much, mate. That is great. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That is really, really cool. So have you done this purely off photographs? Yes, the photograph that Ryan sent me. Yeah. Right. It's one of the biggest classics. And how, um, long is it, how long has it taken? About 30 hours. 30 hours? On the paper, but over about a week and a half. And this is hand drawn? Hand drawn. By hand. Oh. Yeah, it's hand drawn. I mean, that is unbelievable. By hand, and then wow. finished in, then I overlay in ink to get all the detail, the fine detail and the shading and the light, the way the light bounces off the bodywork and the glass. It's just wild. It's just, I'm glad you like it. It's fantastic. I'm really pleased you like it, yeah. Well done. I thoroughly enjoy doing it. Well, it looks like, let's just point it at these guys, that looks like a photograph. I mean, the details are exceptional. Good, I'm glad it's you so, like it. It's yeah. so, so cool. Thank you so much. That, that's gonna Thank go you. up in our garage. Oh, excellent. As Thank close you. as it can to that car, and it'll always be there, so. Good. I'm really pleased I'm really, you like it. I'm really Im impressed and humbled with that. It's really that's really fantastic. Kind of Thank you so it's, much. It's, it's been so really, nice really, to meet you. Really, really, really nice. Yeah. Check this out. Even the Royals have automated mowers. <laughs> How cool is this? We are within the walls of Windsor Castle and they've just driven in a real, that's not a replica, that is a real promotional James Bond car. How fabulous is that? And as I'm sure you've heard a minute ago, uh, with <laughs> real working guns and smoke screen. Uh, if they're not careful, the SAS will turn up in a second. <laughs> this place is highly guarded. So to give you some context, we're in the grounds of Windsor Castle here. All of the guests for the ball for the evening are all located out front. It's just been driven out of the gate which overlooks the, uh, the long mile, as it were. Let me just show you this view. This is unbelievable. So yeah, I wasn't joking about security. There's more, more armed guards here than there are in... Heathrow Airport, but look at that for a view. The car's just driven through those gates and then into the, the great courtyard of Windsor Castle. 
What a moment. Now I'm sharing this. It's, um, it's moments like this over the last month since I've started the Uncut channel that I'm truly kicking myself that I've never been sharing events like this. This is the kind of stuff that, that uh, often happens as a, as a byproduct of being in the industry. We get invitations to things like this and I've never really filmed. I guess part of me has maybe felt it was antisocial to get a camera out while uh, at an event like this, but such is the nature of the Uncut channel. Here we are within Windsor Castle. The bullet. That killed Admiral Lord Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar. That is the actual yeah. bullet yeah. that killed think, Lord I'm Nelson. I'm not sure if it's in that, I think it's in that locket. It, it looks like it's in the yeah. top. Yeah. I love how sort of casually just down there. It, it used to be out there. It used to be out there. Where, of all the things in this room. It. It is, yeah, it's just, just down here. Yeah, it's all hidden away. That is wild. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing, aren't it? Unbelievable. Look how ornate all, all everything is. Just outstanding. Yeah. Look at that. The bullet which killed Admiral Lord Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar, 1805. It's not something I expected to see when I woke up this morning. These boys did armor like fashion. Look at this. Look at the intricacy on that armor. Even matching with the horse, look. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's like a watch. Look at the mechanism on it. It's absolutely stunning. Crikey. These boys. Wow. I mean, there's dining rooms and there's dining rooms. Look at this moment. I just, I love the intricacy of it all. Everywhere you look, there's the detail and the artistry. I mean, look at that. I mean, each and every one of these has a story. It is, oh, I'm just, Lost the words. Truly magnificent, magnificent building. 